we're going to look at the settings in groups and how these can be used by tapping the top right hand corner where the person icon is. We are then presented with a set of options. We can see which of the group members and whether a teacher or a student. And we're also able to look at our notification preferences and also see what our group code is, which as soon as I finish this video, I will be changing. If we tap on group settings, this will allow us to toggle whether we wish parents to join or not, or students to join or not. It is also here where announcements can be toggled on and off. Announcements only can be toggled on and off by the owner of the group. This means that no other people within the group will be able to communicate when announcements only is on. Remember, when all members of the group have joined, it is best practice to tap on the X and clear your code for the group. No new members will be able to join this group, but tapping on the refresh icon will generate a new code, which will then allow students, teachers and or parents, depending on the settings, to rejoin your group. When you're happy, tap save. You will see at the top that it now states that this is an announcement group. Only myself and other owners can post. If I were wanting to add another owner to this group, I would tap on the icon in the top right. Go to group members and tap on the second user. I can then tap grant ownership, which will then give the two teachers both privileges as if they were the owner. It is here where I can also block students from the group by pressing this button, or I can even change their password from this point.